Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday night. I just had to get this off my chest before I went to sleep. I was just watching Inyama fix my life. And I normally don't watch that till Sundays because it's so much. It's just so much. It's so heavy. And I'm a crier. I will say that. I will definitely cry. I was watching the episode, and, and this is what stood out to me for me. We don't listen to hear, or sometimes we listen to reply. And you and I can both listen to the same thing and hear something differently, right? And uh, on this episode, um, the wife told the husband, I need you to let me go. But what he heard was, I want a divorce. Now, that's not what she meant, but that's what he heard. And I guess from prior conversations they might they might have, they might have had before the show, but I think about that in life and how many times have we said things and people just received it differently, right? But you can't control how somebody receives something. And I'm just like, wow, that's just oh my goodness. And and she kept on saying, this is what stood out. This is what makes it stand out for me. She kept on saying, so what did you hear? So what did you hear? After the person says something, she asks the person, so what did you hear? And a lot of times, you can have the best meaning, you can have the best intention behind what you're saying, but the person might not be able to comprehend it the way you comprehend it, the way you're trying to give it to them, you know? And I was just sitting there thinking, like, how many times has that happened in life with me? And how many times have we not communicated at all but expect someone to know how we felt, how we feel. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I was sitting there thinking, like, man, we don't, we don't, some of us don't listen to to hear. We listen to reply. We hurry up and say what you gotta say because I gotta get, I gotta say what I gotta say. And and then nobody hears anything. It's just a bunch of talking. Nothing, no kind of no kind of actions, no kind of nothing. Just a whole bunch of wasting time, breath, and all that stuff. I was just thinking about that. I'm just like, wow. Like, you can have the best intention when you're saying something or sharing something with somebody or telling something to somebody, and they can hear something totally different. And what I also want to say is hurt people hear differently. Hurt people here differently. That whole family was hurting, and when she was calm, when she was asking them questions, and they was just so angry, so angry. It's like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And it was like, I'm mad. I'm mad. She said, No, that's hurt. And when before she said it, I had said it because you can you can tell this just they feel defensive. They got to fight, and everybody's what are you fighting for? It's a deep down issue that you just haven't uncovered. And so some, one of the two sisters, they were upset because their mom gave them, I guess their mom didn't take care of them and gave them up to the dad. And they were mad with her, but they were taking that on, on their other sister. And they were all fighting and calling each other out of their names. But then when they got to the root of it, it's everybody was hurting. Everybody was hurting. But they, have, they, they, was, they, wasn't, they, they weren't given the tools to understand how to handle that. So that stuff, everything turned into rage because the dad, that's all he did. Rage. It just went went straight from just rage. He fighting the fighting the son and, and cussing and calling them out their names and stuff. And then they're turning around and they're doing it. So they took him off into another room. They had to have him watch everything. And he's just in there like looking at what, what has happened because what he's been teaching them. Your children watch everything that you do, right? And they were like talking to the mom. They're like, mom, are you showing them that it's okay to tolerate this stuff because your husband is verbally abusing you and you telling them don't let nobody else do that, but you're doing that. And I was like, oh my God. There's so many things that I did wrong, like seriously. And not even knowing. 
Well, if you, when you don't have the tools and you don't have that knowledge and you don't have those skills, you do the best you can. Now, don't beat yourself up about it because when you know better, you do better. And I'm constantly forgiving myself for things that I tolerated because I didn't know any better. Because I wasn't taught those things. And I'm slowly uncovering these things. And I'm telling you, there's I watch stuff that teaches me things. I don't just be on TV just watching stuff to be watching stuff. I watch things and I'm always getting a lesson out of it. And I always get somebody out of young. Oh my goodness, I just think she's so amazing. And I always get something out of watching that because I just want to help people. I want to serve. I want to be of service. And I want to know, like, how to help people. So I'm constantly, until I'm able to get certified in the, in the things that I need to get certified in, I'm just going to constantly take get these lessons how I can get them for free, right? And I was just sitting here thinking, like, oh, my goodness. That's just, this is mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. But you know what? This is what I've seen. I've seen myself and my kids. Some good, some bad. Either way, I taught them these things. I showed them these things. It's never too late to undo what you did. It's never too late to, to do things a different way either. Let me say that. It's never too late to do things a different way. It's never too late. And man, I'm just like, wow. It's just crazy how much anger and hurt can show up and you not even know it. And it's going to be a part two because the grandmother came on there and she don't like the youngest granddaughter and she's like, I love my I love my grandkids, but I don't like some of them. She's like, why you don't like me? And the grand, and, and so, you know, what, I, what, what, what she told her that, oh my goodness, it made so much sense. And I want to say this to you and I'm going to go on by my, I'm going laying down. She said this to her, how somebody feel about you ain't nothing, God has nothing to do with you. Sometimes we get so upset because somebody don't like us, somebody talk about us. The things that people say and do to you ain't got nothing to do to you. That's why I always keep that, 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 the four agreements. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal because people are battling their own stuff. They're sitting in their own stuff. And you might be a reflection of what they wish they had in them. You might be a, a reflection of a trigger or trauma that they have experienced and they don't even know it. Certain things I see and I hear and it speaks to my soul. And how I know it speaks to my soul? Tears formulate in my eyes. Tears run down my face. And I know that there's something in my soul. It's triggering something in my soul. That's why I say I only watch it on Sundays because my Sundays are my days of release. I cry. I let that stuff out. I'm like, I don't know what it is, but I just want to let it go. I want to forgive. I want to keep moving, keep growing forward. My God. Oh, my God. I just had to share this. And I'm going to share it again in the morning on my ride to work with my a word. I'm going to share it then. But I had to, I had to get it up off me right now because it's so, oh, it's so fresh. It was so fresh. And I wanted to share it. I want you guys to know that things that people say to you and about you ain't got nothing to do with you. Things that people do ain't got nothing to do with you. It's it's it's, it's on them. So don't take don't take ownership of other people's stuff. How people feel about you has nothing to do with you. And make sure you're listening to hear, not just listening to reply. It's very important that you understand, distinguish that. Good night, y'all. Sleep well. Good night.